The Homilies of Blessed Almalexia, Sothasil and the Scribs. Young Sothasil, while playing in the egg mines, saw a number of scribs in a deep shaft, and he began to cast stones upon them, snickering as they skittered and scattered, until one of the scribs, lifting its head up in agony, cried out to Sothasil, Please, please, have mercy, little boy, for what is sport to you is suffering and death to us. And so Sothasil discovered that the idle amusements of one may be the solemn tortures of another. Lord Vivek and the Contentious Beasts A shock and a kagudi were strutting back and forth in a foyer, casting aspersions of one another's looks. You are the ugliest creature alive, the shock told the kagudi. No, you are the ugliest creature alive, the kagudi told the shock, for each thought himself most handsome and the other most ugly. Then Lord Vivek chanced by and settled their dispute. No, you are both the ugliest creatures alive, and I will not have my pleasant sojourn spoiled by your unseemly squabbling. So he dealt them both mighty blows, shattering their skulls and silencing their argument, and went merrily upon his way. And thus, Lord Vivek proved that ugliness is as much in one's manner as is in one's appearance. The Boiled Kagudi It is said that if a Kagudi steps into a boiling pool, he will leap out immediately to avoid harm. But, if the Kagudi is standing in a pool and a wizard slowly raises the temperature, measure by measure, to boiling, the Kagudi will will calmly stand in place until he is boiled. Thus, we see that we must be alert not only to the obvious danger, but also to the subtle degrees by which change may result in danger. The Dubious Healer Once upon a time, a Talvani issued forth from his tower and proclaimed to all the world that he was a mighty and learned healer, master of all alchemy and potions, and able to cure all diseases. Lord Vivek looked upon this wizard and listened to his boasting, then asked him, how can you pretend to prescribe for others the cure to all diseases when you are unable to cure yourself of your own manifest arrogance and foolishness? The Guar and the Mud Crabs. The Guar were so tormented by the other creatures, they did not know where to go. As soon as they saw a single beast approach them, off they dashed in terror. One day, they saw a pack of Nixhounds ranging about, and in a desperate panic, all the Guar scuttled off towards the sea, determined to drown themselves rather than live in such a continual state of fear. But just as they got near the shoreline, a colony of mud crabs, frightened in their turn by the approach of the guar, scuttled off and threw themselves into the water. Truly, said one of the guar, things are not so bad as they seem, for there is always someone worse off than you. The Wounded Netch A wounded netch lay himself down in a quiet corner of its feeding ground. His healthy companions came in great numbers to inquire after his health, yet each one helped himself to a share of the fodder which had been placed there for his use, so that the poor Netch died, not from his wounds, but from the greed and carelessness of his erstwhile friends. And so it is clear that thoughtless companions may bring more harm than help.